Hello YouTube! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Blizzard cast. Today is World of Warcraft Day, and uh, this is my Paladin, Fana Zivana, level 100 as of last week. I'm going to take you to Nagran today and see what quests we can find. I spent yesterday player versus playering uh, with a friend of mine well and a bunch of his buddies. And uh, we won two matches and lost, I think, three. Uh, I can be corrected by uh, Kevin if he <laughs> hears this and wants to leave a comment. And uh, there's the ground. Start flying over. So it turns out in PvP, if you queue together with at least five people total, so you're in a group of five people and you queue for the PvP battle, you'll be matched up against other premates which are people who are also queuing together with their friends or people in their guild, people that they know. And so we had five, we all knew each other, but uh, two of us were undergeared for PvP. Uh, that just means they didn't have the right armor or uh, enough weapon skill or whatever to do very much damage, be a lot of help, just kind of uh, learning the ropes. And uh, that means we were getting matched up against teams where as many as 10 or 15 people could be friends and a lot of coordination and everybody's geared so uh, it was kind of disappointing but I'm sure we'll get better I got a helmet uh, for PvP so that was nice let's see if we can find that here uh, yes there it is primal aspirants scaled helm uh, it uh, is pretty good for strength stamina haste and mastery the interesting thing though is that equip green text at the bottom that says increase item level to 660 in PvP combat so you can wear it when you're questing. It's only a level 600 item there, but it does bump up the stats if you're PvPing, so that's pretty nice. But today, I'm back in my protection gear. I have my plain Thunder Helm on, which is a level 610. It's something of a tanking helmet. The uh, critical strike bonus there, plus 94, isn't super useful for what I'm doing, but versatility just gives a nice boost to my healing, to my damage, uh, to my defending, and is pretty nice that way. So. We are flying through Nagrand. You'll notice these trees are kind of glowing. That's because I went ahead and created a lumber mill in my garrison, which allows me to chop down small trees and return them to the base, which I can then use to create garrison resources and other very nice things to have at this stage in the game. So we're flying through, looking at all these nice trees. There's a large timber that I can't cut down. I can only cut down the small ones at this point until I upgrade. But here we are at the uh, Talari station, which we are familiar with. Let me go over to Rangari Dakan, and it looks like I have a quest to turn into him. That Fellbreaker sounded tough. Good thing there's only a small number of them. Mm. Don't remember doing this, but we'll go ahead and take his cleaver, which oh is that amazing 1% upgrade over the sword that I have. I think I'm going to hang on to the sword just because currently it is Admiral Taylor's sword, but I have it transmogrified from this, which is what it normally looks like, to this, which is the Red Sword of Courage, I believe it's what it's called. Actually, I can look. Uh, yep, transmogrified to Red Sword of Courage. So that's pretty nice. I like how big it is. I like that it's glowy. I like the big uh, lava-looking thing in the middle there, so pretty cool. We'll head over. Whoa! The mixture is too rich, and looks like that siege engine just totally blew up. Because everybody knows that dwarves and gnomes who like to work on mechanical things often blow stuff up. And hopefully they didn't kill anybody in the process. Here we'll talk to Thalen Dark Anvil. And it says uh, she's a beauty. We do good work together. So a siege engine that I helped to build. And turn in this quest, removing the reinforcements, which I must have done in an earlier quest, but we'll complete Watch the quest, accept the gold for it, talk to him, and say, Thalen, let's change this building into a corral. Nah, let's not do that. Let's leave the siege engines where they are. And we'll head out and turn on my map, see what we want to do. I don't want to get Leatherhide ears or Breeze Strider horns. But I suppose it's interesting to talk to uh, Lantrasaur of the Blade. So let's do that. So we click it head on out, and following the arrow on my mini-map there. Across the hills into Grand, see if we can find any trees to knock down and send back to my garrison for supplies. I that is timber. 
but it looks like it might be too large. Yep, requires lumber mill two. So not what I need. I'm gonna keep heading this direction even though my arrows disappeared for some reason. Maybe this blue area, no? The blue area does not say where I'm supposed to find this guy. Should we do should we do this uh rare spawn? Sure, why not? Shouldn't take too long. Bunch of Talbuk up here. They won't bother me because they're yellow. If I attack them, they will defend themselves, but there's no reason for them to attack unless I attack them first. So we're going to head over here, grab this true iron deposit, which can be used to build weapons and armor back at the base. Get on my horse. This drop isn't too bad. Probably shouldn't kill me. Did knock me down by 77,000 health, or maybe a quarter, 40% uh, of my health. He's over this way, huh? This Windrock will attack me. And the Mauler will attack me. And nope, he's not the one I need to get. Is he up there? Oh, I jumped down for nothing. That's embarrassing. A true iron deposit, but if I stop to get it, I'll just be attacked from behind and interrupted by those mobs. So I'm not worried about it. I'm going to keep heading this way, past the Windrocks that won't bother me. Where on earth is this guy? Another Talbuk. And is that... No, that's not him. Is he under? Ah, again, this is the problem with maps. Well, let's harvest this tree, I guess. Ready to work. Oh, and here comes what a lumberjack, which has the same sounds and same voice. Off I go, then. There we go, little sayings as the peons or the workers in Warcraft 2, which again is from 1994, so 97? I don't know, I'm forgetting, but it's a quite a blast from the past. Alright, so we we'll, won't we'll worry about this rare spawn. We'll head on over to Mr. of the Blade. Now these are red, these leather hide cleft hoofs, which means they will attack me if I get too close to them. Although they're level 98 and I'm level 100, the higher level you are, the less likely it is for somebody to come aggro at you, which is just what it's called when something attacks and focuses on you. There is a quest here at this broken down wagon at a bounty board. It says, Wanted Razor Paw. Razor Paw is responsible for leading several raids and ambushes against the travelers on the road near Saber Maw. Hmm. We'll accept that quest. Not going to worry too much about him right now, though. Map says we need to head north a little bit through Anguish Point, which might be a PvP area for the Horde, I'm not sure. Any place that is an Alliance staging area or a Horde staging area is very difficult to attack by yourself. They're going to have guards that are really tough and other uh, creatures that might help defend. So we don't want to attack that, obviously, but this is Halagor. Can we ride on up here and get this true iron. We can. Excellent. Got some true iron ore. Alright, let's head on in. And there are some blade masters that want to kill me, but we're just going to ride past them to our target, which looks like it's up here, possibly inside this hut. And he is. Oh, he's an orc says, don't you know death by sight, paladin? Well, I guess we should turn around and actually attack these guys before talking to this of the blade person. I'm gonna get my shield up. Looks like there's only three of them. I'm not super worried about it as they are two levels below me. And my gear level's pretty good after doing a few dungeons, so... Yep, A died fairly quickly. Talking to him again, he says, When they clapped me in irons, the Burning Blade instructor, Luke the Keen, I took my blade. I want it back. All right. We'll accept that. He also wants me to do without my honor, which does have a 6% upgrade to my uh, shoulder armor plate. The Blade Master is given the honor of wearing the Burning Blade's banner. So the banner has been stored some way. Find that for me. Okay. We can do that, too. So, running back out into danger... No one's nearby, so that's interesting. We'll head up to Instructor Luke. Dang, he was close. 
and smash him with my Avengers shield. Once again, fe feeling like Captain America. Just pretty much hitting whatever spell is available to me. You'll notice down here on the spell bar that a little clock animation goes as the cooldowns happen on each of these spells. So you can't just spam the same spell over and over and over. You really have to decide what's good for each situation. And I guess what's applicable to the timing. I pretty much like to keep my sacred shield up at all times. You'll notice up here, 35 seconds left on it. It absorbs 4,000 damage every 5 seconds, which is really fantastic. I'll just keep dropping these attacks. There's another shield. This is Hammer of Wrath, which you can only use on targets that have below 20% health. And it does quite a bit of damage to help you finish off those guys who are low. But I picked up the blade. And the Blade Master's banner is somewhere. Oh. And it looks like we have a rare spawn, a Hyperion. So we'll whack him to assist with this fight. Because again, anybody who hits it will get the drops off of this guy. So we're going to assist our friend, the Warlock here. And pick up the loot, which is a smolder smoldering heart of Hyperius. Let's check in our bags what that is. Uh, it's a haste trinket and gives me mastery. So nice, but again, haste is more of something for DPS, for damage type um, damage type players, and I'm more tanky, so I'm not going to worry about that trinket. There are some guys I need to kill. This cave seems kind of promising for that banner, but maybe not. Oh, wait. Oh, a summoning brazier. I'm guessing it just summons that Hyperius guy, which we're not worried about either. Well, I wonder if this banner is just a drop off of one of these guys. Alright, so if so, we'll just gather a whole ton of them up. Hit them all with the Avengers shield. Now, I don't think these guys present as much of a problem as those ogres did, just because I was a little undergeared for that quest last time. Uh, it wasn't quite at 100, and I hadn't done as much dungeoning. So these guys, yeah, those aren't trouble at all. None of them dropped the banner. Let's head over, see if we can kill a couple more. Nope, only one is not worth it. I need to pick up at least these two. And that three. Maybe see if we can taunt Mac out to come over. Nope. He didn't worry about it. And that caster is just standing back. So we want to hit him with hit him with the Avengers Shield, which does silence enemies that it hits. If you remember from my Hearthstone casts, it talks about silence, which just removes the any special effects on a card. Uh, this also prevents enemy uh, enemy minions from attacking you with spells, so pretty handy. Let's see, maybe it's in here? Oh, yep, I think it's in here. Great. Let's go ahead and take these guys out, because again, if you try to open something or mine something or gather something while there's an enemy bashing on you, they interrupt it. You can't actually get what you're trying to get, so kind of annoying, but not too bad. And boom them out. We're going to open this locker. And we didn't find what we needed. Unfortunate. Let's see if we can find another one of those lockers to open. And here's one. So again, we have to take out these mobs. No big deal. I wonder if I'm a little bit too high level for Nagrand at this point, but, you know, you gotta, got a quest where you have quests, I suppose, and I'm getting some pretty good gold out of this, and it's fun, which is really the whole point of World of Warcraft, is just the fun. Some people take it seriously, but that's not something that I've done for a long time. And there's the banner, and I got 15 of, the, uh, of those minions killed, so that's fantastic. Let's head back to the guy, turn that quest in. Blade Master. Is that his name? 
of the blade. I apologize, of the blade. You are not a blade master. All right, so we give him the blade. It says you can defeat Lunk or Luke. Perhaps there's some hope for you. And then here's the banner. It says I don't expect you understand the importance of what you've done. Perhaps one day you will. Great. So he gives me the shoulder armor. It says meet up with me inside the master's cavern. He destroys his chains. It says meet me outside. And at this point I'm going to log off. Looks like my bags are full. And oh, these are gauntlets, not shoulder armor. That's embarrassing. We'll put them on anyway. I knew gauntlets are pretty cool. They, I think they show my fingers. Anyway, we're going to log off for today. It's been a pretty good, uh, productive evening, but I hope you enjoyed what you watched. Again, this is Falcon Paladin with his daily Blizzard upload. This has been World of Warcraft. You can like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also visit me on Facebook at facebook.com slash falconpaladin. And until next time, take care of yourself.